A man is accused of driving the getaway car following his uncle's death. Plus, in your consumer alert, Takata is adding almost 3 million more airbags to the largest auto recall in U.S. history and a riptide rescue. Hello and thank you for joining us from the ABC Columbia studio. I'm Kimberly Davis. Here are your trending headlines for Wednesday, July 12th. Bond was set at $250,000 for the man in the slaying of his uncle. Brandon Barham is one of two suspects charged in the 2015 shooting of Charles Cusco. Our Alexis Frazier was in the courtroom and we'll have more on this story on ABCColumbia.com and on the news at 6. Now to that Takata recall. The Japanese company says a chemical drying agent could cause driver's side airbags to rupture. Faulty inflators, which can blast shrapnel into drivers and passengers, have resulted in the recall of tens of millions of vehicles. They have also been linked to more than a dozen deaths around the world. The airbag scandal has led to a slow and painful demise for Takata, which started out as a textile manufacturer more than 80 years ago. It later came to specialize in seatbelts and other auto safety equipment. Takata filed for bankruptcy last month. And I love this good news. Beachgoers in Florida formed a human chain to help save a family trapped in a rip current. It's a story of strangers, dozens of them coming together to rescue a family in Panama City Beach. Brian Khalil has a story. A day on the beach almost turned tragic for Roberta Ursery and her family Saturday. And I seen my husband, my mama, my oldest daughter, and my youngest daughter, and my nephew. But I didn't see my boys. When she finally saw her 8 and 11 year old boys, they were far out in the water. She later realized they were caught in a rip current. They were screaming and crying that um, they were stuck. They couldn't get nowhere. Panics, Ursary and most of her family ran into the water to rescue her children, but the current proved to be too much. And so we all ended up being stuck in it. While in the water, struggling to stay afloat, Ursary says that's when something amazing happened. A selfless act performed by strangers that she says helped save her life. People on the beach formed a human chain to reach Ursary and the others caught in the rip current. Ursary's son Stephen recalls the scary ordeal. We got caught in the current and well our mom had to go in after me and my brother and the people made a human chain and pulled us out. A chain of events that ultimately left Ursary feeling thankful. Because as a mama, I'm supposed to be able to protect them and do everything, and I couldn't do it that day. I had to have help, which I was eternally grateful for that was there to be able to help me. Since they helped me when I grow up and they start, and if they can't swim, I'm going to have to... <laughs> Steven says he just wants the chance to pay it forward one day. In Panama City Beach, Byron Khalil, News Channel 7. Join us for news, weather, sports, and more on air, online, and on the ABC Columbia mobile app. I'm Kimberly Davis. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, and thanks for watching.